doing maintenance on your computer. Keep your computer free from viruses and malware. This is Ridgeway Tech. Hi guys, I'm here with a customer's computer and we've just finished installing Windows on it for them and installing our general software that we put onto computers before we ship them or return them. And we're just going to jump into our desktop. So I'm just using Cam Studio to record the footage and that should be recording okay. And we're just going to run you through the, the, we don't install a lot of stuff. We just install a few programs that will help keep your computer running smoothly and virus and malware free. And the first thing we're going to look at is Avast. It's a free antivirus program. It's very good. We install the lightweight version, so it shouldn't come with uh, too much bloatware or anything, any pop-ups or anything that you're not really interested in. And this is as simple as maybe once a week to once a month, you can just open this up and just run a scan simple as that and that will just scan your hard drives in your computer and just check for any viruses so we're just going to stop that because we don't really have time in this video to wait for it now a little bit of uh, a little bit of upkeep that it takes is it's just it's automatically running it's down here you click the little triangle and it's this it's this little uh, icon here if you right click on it You'll see there's an update option and then you can update the engine and virus definitions. Now what that's going to do is that's just going to go out to the internet and just get uh, update its its library of, of all the viruses out there that it, so that if one should try and attack your computer it will recognize it and it will stop it and it will tell you that it has as well. And also update the program so that you're on the latest version of the program. As you can see we already are. Now, if you do need to update it, it will come up with a pop-up saying to update to the latest version. You just click on the installer and you'll probably need to restart, but it's as simple as that. Now, the next program, similar, it's called Malwarebytes. Now, 90% of problems on computers are actually caused by malware nowadays rather than viruses. Now, this little program... It's a great little program, it's also free, I've been using it for years and as you can see we've got a lovely green smiley face there which means we've got no problems, no infections. Now if that was a, a, a red face with a frowny face and, and there'd be a little button here just saying to fix the problems now and with any luck that would fix the problems and get rid of any malware. Now again, maybe on your once a week or once a month maintenance check, you can open this up and you can just click on scan now and it will just run a scan across your hard drives and look for any infections or any problems. If it does come up with any, you should be able to fix them, delete them or quarantine them. Uh, if you end up with you've got lots on there or something, then you may need to contact me. But again, we're not going to wait for the full scan now because we just want to get through the video. So we're just going to get rid of that. Now the third thing you're going to need on your on your weekly to monthly checkup is the Windows update. Now I've gone ahead and put a link on the desktop for this but you can also find it by clicking on the start menu and that's just going to search for any Windows updates, any software updates to, to the Microsoft operating system and always keep that up to date because they will patch any problems or, or anything that come along. As you can see we're already up to date so that's not a problem. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I, the only other software that I do tend to leave on the computer is I do tend to leave Google Chrome on there and simply because there's an add-on that comes with the antivirus program. And if I just do a search for anything, it doesn't really matter. You can see there's this little, it's just turned green, this little green icon up here and you can click on it and it's just going to give you some information on whether the website you're on is a safe site to visit whether it's been flagged up by anybody so it's just that extra little bit of security to help your computer run smoothly for the foreseeable future anyway thanks for checking out our video and we'll see you in the next one